Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Paulette and the reason why I'm gonna have this mess here today and this cute kitty cat is because I'm grooming my pets today and how I like to groom them or when I groom them. I mainly groom my dogs. This one's gonna get her, I would say, is it your third time being getting a bath? That I give you a bath? Yeah, about the third time. The first time when she was a kitten and I got her and another time because she was really gross i don't know how she got so gross and dirty and then today and i'm actually recording them i've recorded a few of them it's gonna be an interesting time so yeah let's get started all right so the first thing that i normally do is check the temperature of the water make sure it's nice and warm so it's not too hot or too cold for the dogs. Um, they normally kind of give you signs if they are having a hard time with the temperature of the water. Like if it's too cold, they'll whimper. If it's too hot, it, they'll whimper. And yeah, so just making sure that all their whole body is nice and wet. She kept moving away from me, so I had to like basically straddle the freaking tub and give her lots of kisses and give her a nice lot of reinforcement. Her eyes are definitely like the part that I try to be very careful be with because I don't want to feel like I'm waterboarding my own dogs. And I'll have like the hose that I use in the description box, also the shampoo and conditioner that I use for the, all three of them. Um, I use little by little shampoo um, throughout the whole process of like throughout their body parts and I use a little bit, like especially on their paws or just their whole body overall. I just use, I just get a little bit of soap, um, shampoo as you can see. We live in a very like dusty area, so like they get their t their paws really dirty, and they like to play. So again, they like to get really dirty. The only time I'm like really giving my dogs baths is when their hair is normally short, but I normally take them to a groomer so they can. Ooh, why did it lose focus? Um, so they get, like they get their hair cut professionally. I do not cut my dog's hair. I recommend taking them to the groomer where they know what they're doing and. You don't hurt your dog or hurt yourself. Um, but yeah, so like giving yourself a shower, you rinse off the shampoo and next is conditioner. So I'm using pet shampoo and conditioner, like the ones you find at a pet store. But my dog's hair are like more hair than fur. They don't shed compared to our cat. Our cat sheds like a lot, um, which is why I gave her a bath. But yeah, our dogs don't shed, and I spend a lot of time putting conditioner where um, it knots the most, like so their ears, their neck, and their tail slash butt is where it like it knots a lot. As you can see, my dog has a lot of like birthmarks on her body, like little dark spots. I think that's natural, but yeah, off to get her all dried up. gave you a beginning clip of how I like to hold um, my dog's head gently against my body and with um, my hand. Um, I normally just hold on to their under their chin or on their snout when I have to brush anywhere near their face. Um, since she has curly hair it does not a lot more um, with anybody or anything that has curly hair it just knots a lot faster. Um, so I'm trying to like untangle her with like the brush that I have and I'll put those brushes also in the description box and they're mainly all from like Pets, Petco or Pet Smart, but um, I'll still put them in the description box adjusting the camera because it's all so as you can see uh, you like barely like putting any pressure on their face you're holding their snout so you can brush everything out from their face I had to kind of fight with her because uh, anytime I had the blow dryer on she tried to eat the air coming out of it so I had to try to figure out what to do and I gave her lots of breaks in between by brushing her hair out my goodness why does it keep 
I'm focusing like that or focusing weird like that. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, so every anytime like I started hurting her, oh, she ran away from me. Um, anytime she would look back at me and figure out what I was doing is because I was basically hurting her a little bit. Um, and right now what I'm trying to do is separate the knots from her tail where she knots the most because she wags her tail like crazy a lot of the time. And I'm using this brush that basically um, cuts out bits of pieces of the, the hair of the knot rather than having to cut out the whole entire knot. Like basically like a extreme detangler. It's crazy. Um, and what's great that you can switch the directions of how you brush it, which is either towards you or away from you. So you can switch it. As you can see, I just switched it again. Um, I'm trying to do her ears. And I like to hold like the base of where their skin and the hair meet. So I don't like pull it out because their hair, like their skin is stretchy. So like it'll hurt. Um, it's like the equivalent of like holding your head and then brushing your hair. I guess if people do that, I don't. But you know, I'm trying to work from my, my way down up. I just got some treats because maybe she'll listen more. She was. She was actually paying attention more with me, giving her, like, telling her she's a good girl, giving her some kisses, and giving her some little bits of treats. I used the bacon, bacon bites, again, in the description box. The part that I find the hardest to do is their paws, so I normally try to dry them as much as I can, but the main places that I focus on brushing them is, like, their tail, their main parts of their body, um, their head, and their neck like I said earlier, because that's where they knot the most. And I'm trying to make sure that they don't have any knots because if they have knots and you take them to the groomer for a haircut, they're going to be like, we need to shave your dog because there's knots everywhere and we can't take them out unless we freaking shave your dog. And you don't want a bald dog. Well, at this moment where we live, be them being shaved is probably the best, but I don't want to deal with that, so... Yeah, they get a little bath here and there. But right now their hair is too long, so I will take them to the groomers, and I'll have a pictures before and after on my social media. I had to back up because she got really mad at me. That's why my hands went up. And I had to give her a break from her tail, so I went back to her ears. And pretty much I just go on and on, um, make sure that I get all the, the knots, and I switch between each brush to see if I can get them out. And then I try to like single out the br the knot and use that knock knot detangler thing, like the, red, the black and red brush that you see on the table. And yeah, um, holding her paws, like um, her arms up together and holding her up is when I can be able to um, brush under her belly. At this point, I'm almost pretty much done. And then I move on to the next one. So I'll put music on for the remainder of the time that I have here. Just like the first one for Siri, um, pretty much, you know, check the temperature of the water, um, rinse her out with the water, and um, yeah, 
so I gently hold their arms. I don't ever put too much pressure. Obviously, I just like kind of gracefully hold them up. Um, I guess like the most gentle part is with my grip on their on their paws, but I actually lift them with force, I guess, but not like crazy. Like I throw them, obviously, as you can see. Um, Bella has a lot of tear stains because she's a big crybaby. So I have I had to focus a lot on her eyes. And what I like to do is put like soap or sorry, shampoo on my fingertips, like my my yeah, just basically my fingertips on my left hand because I'm left handed dominant. And I try to like rub this the shampoo onto her eyes rather than putting like full on shampoo on her face and hurting her eyeballs because you know, putting soap in your eyes hurts. You don't want that in your eyes. That burns. So yeah, I'm trying to focus on other parts. Bella's not very much of a dirty dog. She kind of just likes to hang out and be on people's laps, um, but occasionally she does get dirty. And um, but yeah, the main things that I had to focus on were her eyes. So I had to talk about that. <laughs> Now to get her all dried up. We'll be right back. Hey Bella. You here to watch Siri? We're back. Hi Bella. Now try to dry her up. Some treats to motivate her. Uh, Bella's a picky eater, so I'm gonna give her some lunch meat. So I was totally joking when I said Bella is the train wreck. She is actually the most calm dog when I try to groom. She lets me brush her. If anything, she enjoys me giving her or drying her up with the blow dryer because she just wants to be as warm as possible as quickly as possible. I am cutting out some hair that I found inside her ears that were super gross and now I'm cleaning out her ear and I was like what is going on here when did your ear get dirty it's just a weird discovery that I just found so I have a q-tip and I'm gently just cleaning out um, her ears I'm not going in too deep obviously because I don't want to hurt her um, but I'm going back to giving her some lunch meat because she will start wiggling or trying to walk away from me and I don't want her to do that so I'm giving her lunch meat to keep her motivated because, like I said, she's a picky eater. Siri, on the other hand, will eat anything that I give her. Bella, I have to give her, like, boiled chicken, um, some rotisserie chicken lunch meat. Um, I don't give her a lot, obviously, because I don't want her tummy to get, like, or to ache later on, but, yeah. So, she likes to sit a lot when I do dry her, so I hold her lower half of her body with my hand, um, and here again, I'm, you see me trying to knot out or brush out her knots from her tail. And like I said, and there's the knot, as you can see, it is massive. So it's going to be definitely going to take me a while. That's why everything is tam time lapse. So I'm not sitting there for a million hours and you're not sitting there for a million hours and be like, oh my God, this is so boring. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm cutting a little bit of her tail because... She, her tail's super long. When I take her out to go for a walk, things get stuck when she uses the bathroom. And I don't like it because that means that she has to get baths more often. And they are due for to get groomed, but I felt like since we're going to be going on a trip, I want to save that money so they can hold off a little, a couple more weeks. So that's why they didn't get groomed. The couple things that I do cut from Bella is her ta the tips of her tail and the tips of her ears because her hair, her ears, the hair on her ears gets stuck on her food. Yeah, and yeah, she's just like a messy eater, just like her mother. Food gets everywhere. And there you see me again, like holding their snout to brush. She doesn't like it very much. She doesn't like when I do that, but I'm trying to be as gentle as I can and trying to do it as slowly as I can because... She does not like it. There's a few things that Bella doesn't like. It's brushing her ears. 
and her face. Anything that has to do with her ears and her face, she does not like it. She's not comfortable with it, and I understand it, and I try to make her feel comfortable as much as I can to let her let me do it because it's, as much as I don't want her to be uncomfortable, um, it's something that needs to get done. And here I am cutting her hair, hair on her ears, making sure they're even. Now looking for a tiny little comb because her face is tiny and working on her knots on her ears. So this is the part that gets a little messy because she hates it and she wiggles a lot. So I'm trying to keep her there and then I got tired of standing and bending over so I decided to sit down because I don't this table or that desk doesn't rise up like the groomers do so I'm not going to freaking tire my back out cuz I'm old for freaking brushing my dog's face. And I'm about done. I think I'm done here. So, yeah, I'll continue the rest of the music. We're done, hon Now we're all done. She has nasty teeth, but we can brush those later. Before bed. Okay. Good morning, Bella. Time. So I'm gonna clean this all up because for the cat, she's not getting this treatment because I don't think <coughs> she'll be able to deal with it. So I'm cleaning up. And I'll dry her a little bit, but I'm going to put all these little tools away. Excuse me. I'm putting all these, like the blow dryer um, and the brush, the brushes. I might leave this one um, just so I can brush out um, extra hair that's been coming out. So lastly, we'll do Quinn and we'll be right back. So this, me giving her bath was by far the most difficult thing I've ever had to do. I felt terrible. As you can see, her poor little tail is so fluffed because she's so mad and scared. Cat people don't come after me. I freaking love my cat. Like, I love her and I know she loves me. But the reason I give her a bath at all is because my husband is super allergic and me giving her a bath and taking away some of the shedding that she does and the dandruff that happens around in the house really does help with his allergies and oh my gosh I literally 100% could not stand her meowing it just made me so sad it broke my heart into a million pieces and but it was something that has to be done and um, it's something that I've been wanting to do because um, the fact that since we live in such a hot climate she sheds more now like Oh my gosh, her hair is freaking everywhere. I have to constantly vacuum our bed, like with the hand vacuum, because she sheds and you can see hair all over the place. By the end of this video, I you will see hair in the bathtub. You can see it being washed off of her body, like how much her of her hair is coming out. Like you can see it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Quinn. I feel so bad was a mission and I feel terrible. The way that whole situation went, oh my God, I feel so bad. But I don't know if you saw all the hair that was coming out of her. Yeah, that's bad. Put this right here.
She hates me. Why you do a terrible job cleaning yourself? I love you. Yeah. Where is she? Is she mad? What's that? She probably hates me. Quinn, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Quinny, I'm sorry. I love you. Did you give her treats? Yeah. I brushed her a little bit. She's not really happy. You should have seen the amount of hair was coming out, Andy. And it's still coming out. Some of it's the dog's, but a lot of it is hers. It's a lot of hair. Queen! Are you showing me that you can bathe yourself? You do it inefficiently. You still have a lot of dandruff and hair everywhere. Well, guys. That's the video. I hope you guys liked it. Like, subscribe to my channel if you guys like what I have been putting up. Um, if you have any suggestions of what you would like me to do, just put them in the comments down below. I do read everything, even though it's not like I get a whole bunch of stuff anyways now because, you know, yeah. Anyway, just let me know what you guys want to see and I'll try to do that for you guys. Hope you guys have a nice day and stay safe. Thank you. Bye.